Spiketober Learning Labs! Yay! On today's Arttober Learning Labs, we are featuring the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We'll explore the art of songwriting and making a songwriting journal with educators Britt and Adam. We'll also take a virtual peek at a current exhibit. Hi, I'm Britt. And I'm Adam. And we both work in this building, the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Today, we're going to take a virtual peek inside our museum. We'll take a look at an exhibit all about Bubo and Felice Bryant, two very special people who make careers out of songwriting. Then, we'll learn how to make a songwriting journal of our own. Finally, we'll get started on writing our own song. That sounds super fun, Brett. Have you ever been to a museum? Have you ever been to a museum? If you like exhibits, you can see them. An outer space exhibit could have asteroids and stars. A musical exhibit could have costumes and guitars. Have you ever been to our museum? We've got artifacts we use for teaching. Our artifacts could be the car that Elvis used to drive, or any special thing that keeps the country sound alive. A museum protects and teaches about a certain subject. There are museums for art, museums for science, history, and even music. An exhibit teaches about a specific theme. An art museum might have a photography exhibit, or a natural history museum might have a dinosaur exhibit. The Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum might have an exhibit about your favorite singer. Exhibits have artifacts which are special objects that tell a story. For example, Taylor Swift's bedazzled acoustic guitar artifact helps tell the story of how she became the star she is today. Let's take a look at our museum, the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Let's put on our thinking caps and have a little fun. We'll explore some artifacts and hear a couple songs. Let's take a virtual look at the exhibit about Bubo and Felice Bryant. Follow us. Welcome to our exhibit called We Could, the songwriting artistry of Boudlow and Felice Bryant. Boudlow and Felice were a husband and wife team who were known as Nashville's first full-time professional songwriters. Do you know what a songwriter is? That's right. A songwriter is a person whose job it is to write songs. The Bryants wrote songs that were recorded and made famous by all kinds of different singers and performers, including Count Basie, the Beach Boys, Ray Charles, Cher, Bob Dylan, the Everly Brothers, Emmylou Harris and Graham Parsons, Roy Orbison, Elvis Presley, and the great jazz singer Sarah Vaughan. Do you have a favorite style of music or a favorite performer? If you're watching with others right now, you can press pause and talk with each other about your favorite kinds of music or your favorite performers. How many songs do you think Felice and Boudlow Bryant wrote over the course of their careers? Take a guess. Great guesses. They actually wrote 6,000 or more songs. 900 of those 6,000 songs were actually recorded professionally. Let's take a look at some artifacts or special objects in the Bryant exhibit. Artifacts help tell the Bryant story. Here's the manuscript page where Bye Bye Love is written. Do you recognize any of the words? Here's the manuscript page for All I Have to Do is Dream. Have you ever heard Tennessee's state song, Rocky Top, recorded by many different artists, including the Osborne Brothers? Did you know that the Bryants wrote Rocky Top, too? Let's zoom in. What interesting details do we see when we look more closely at the pages? Look at all the doodles and sketches. Inspiration for writing a song is everywhere and can start with anything, drawings or words. Thanks for showing us some of that exhibit, Adam. I'm inspired to start writing songs of my own. How about you? 
I'm going to show you how to make your own pocket-sized songwriting journal. You can use this to write down all of your great song ideas. All you need is one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper and a pair of scissors. Let's pause to gather those materials. I'm going to show you how to make this step by step, but remember, you can pause and rewind at any time to create at your own pace. To start, lay your paper flat on the table. First, fold your paper long ways, or hot dog style. Take the bottom corners, match them carefully to the top corners. Then, smooth out your fold. I like to use my finger first, or my palms first, then use my thumbnail to make a crease. Good job! Unfold that hot dog fold and lay your paper flat again. Now you have a line where you made the fold. We'll come back to that later. Next, we're going to fold hamburger style. Take the right side and fold it to match with the left side. Match the corners carefully and then crease. Perfect. Unfold again. Now your paper should have four rectangles divided by one line going from top to bottom, one line going from left to right. Now this part might be a little bit trickier. Take the right side and fold to meet in the middle crease. Match carefully, then smooth out your fold. You got this. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take the left side of the paper and match it to meet that middle crease. Ta-da! Unfold again. Now your paper should have eight rectangles on it. Now, find the middle section. Pinch and pull up on that middle crease. This will make a shape that might look like a W. Now it's time to use our scissors. On that middle peak that you made, find the middle line. And cut carefully on that middle fold. Stop as soon as you reach the middle. You are doing a fantastic job. This is what your paper should look like from a few different views. Remember, if you're having trouble, feel free to pause and rewind. 
It's also okay to make mistakes. And it's cool if yours looks different than mine does. Art doesn't have to be perfect. And we're all unique, so the things you make can be unique too. We're almost done. Now, take each hand and pinch both sides of the middle fold. Move them to completely open up the cut that you just made. From here, close the pages and fold into a book shape. Voila! You did it! You made yourself your very own pocket-sized journal. You can use this to write down inspiration for writing your own song or story. You can draw or write words. What story will you tell? Music.
Now that you've created your own songwriting journal, here's something fun you can do to begin telling your own story. Let's brainstorm some song ideas and lyrics together. If you like, you can visit countrymusichalloffame.org slash words and music at home and download our step-by-step -step lyric writing guide and workbook, which has some fun brainstorming tools. I want to introduce you all to my friend Uno the Unicorn. Hi, Uno. I see that you used your songwriting journal and our Words and Music at Home workbook to brainstorm some ideas. This is such a neat use of the spider map. And I love this, I love this theme. Everyone is unique, I agree. But we're all the same too, what you like to do, my friends are unique, write about feelings, happy and sad. I hear that, you know. Unicorns are unique, yeah, they have one horn. Oh yeah, and Uno means one, and my name is unique, Uno equals one. One of a kind, what you like to eat. We can totally start writing a song from all these, all these neat ideas, you know. So Uno, what if we started off by saying, in Spanish, Uno means one and unicorns have one horn. We could do something like that, right? And I could just play a little something on the guitar like this. In Spanish, uno means one, and unicorns have one horn. And you say you like to write, right? So you like to write about your feelings. So you could say, um, writing our thoughts can be fun, which rhymes with one, one rhymes with fun. So we could say, in Spanish, uno means one. I'm just making up a melody. In Spanish, uno means one, and unicorns have one horn. Writing our thoughts can be fun, and something that rhymes with unicorn. Is that okay, uno? Do you like that? Okay, good. So um, let's see, where do we go from there? In Spanish, uno means one, and unicorns have one horn. Writing our thoughts can be fun. Our thoughts, our, our thoughts, our thoughts, our thoughts are unique. Our thoughts are unique. Our thoughts are unique like a unicorn. Our thoughts are unique like a unicorn. Do you like that? Okay. In Spanish, uno means one, Unicorns have one horn. Writing our thoughts can be fun. Thoughts are unique like a unicorn. And then maybe maybe we go to a chorus here. I'll change the chord, go to this chord. And you said you like to write, so you, your thoughts you like to write happy and sad, right? Yeah, me too. So we could do... Um, when, I, when I'm sad, I write it down. And when I'm happy too. When I'm sad, I write it down. And when I'm happy too. Um, so then maybe want to rhyme with down. When I'm sad, I write it down. And when I'm happy too. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> You look like you're smiling, you know? Sometimes sometimes you smile, sometimes you frown. And, and down rhymes with frown. Sometimes I smile, sometimes I frown. But I'm always unique, right? We're always unique. But I'm always unique. And you said, do you like that? And you said, um, but we're all, we're all unique. So I'm unique, just like you're unique, right? Or you're unique, just like I'm unique. So you could say, um, but I'm always unique, just like you. I like it. Do you like it? Great. And your brainstorm came just straight from your songwriting journal. This is the introduction. And in Spanish, uno means one. Unicorns have one horn. Writing our thoughts can be fun. Our thoughts are unique like a unicorn. When I'm sad, I write it down. When I'm happy too. Sometimes I smile, sometimes I frown. But I'm always unique, 
just like you. I'm just like you. That's lovely, Uno. Thanks for writing a song together. And if you go to countrymusichalloffame.org slash words and music at home, you can download our step-by-step -step lyric writing guide and the workbook that Uno used to brainstorm from Uno's songwriting journal. Way to go, Uno.